previous episodes about Caitlin Clark. Remember we was talking about it? We were like, a lot of these women are jealous and mm -hmm. they're doing things that they shouldn't be doing and they should be embracing her and yeah. they're getting all these new eyes on the game. And when we come to the game, do your thing. And then we can see, you know, who we really like and who we really could support other than Caitlin Clark. But she's bringing the viewers and and then um, the person that I have, like, fell in love with watching her game has been Kennedy Carter, man. And that's what she's the whole, a superstar. The whole thing I said from the she's a superstar, dude. And I was wrong. Remember, and you you said who the hell is this? And I said she's a star. And I said, hey, women, hey, take the viewership that she's bringing to the game. Don't hate on her. Don't get mad. And when y'all play, show us show us what you got, and then let us you know form our opinion from there. You know, and Kennedy Clark, Clark well, Kennedy Carter, I call her Kennedy Clark. Kennedy Carter has been downright amazing. She's my second favorite player to watch in the league right now. Um, not Aja Wilson. It's not, not, not Reese. It's, it's, it's not uh, Tarasi. It's, it's Kennedy Carter. She's so explosive. She's so fast. I call her a miniature fucking Allen Iverson. She's the Allen Iverson of the WNBA. She's explosive. She gets to anywhere in the point of the court where she wants to get. She could get her shot off on anybody. And she's small. She's miniature. And she's just damn right explosive. And how she can just, she could score any kind of way, and she could go for 25 any night. She's a fucking superstar. I love her game. I enjoy watching her. I'm definitely a fan. I don't know if I'm a fan enough to go get a damn jersey, but I'm no. definitely a fan of watching her game. Like, when I turn on the game to see the Chicago, I'm not watching Reese. I'm actually watching because I like the way Kennedy Carter plays. Man, kudos to her, man. She's, she's been amazing. Damn, she, she, she's so fun to watch, man. So I, I want to follow up with you on Kennedy Carter um, real quick again. But let me get back to Kennedy Carter. Kennedy Carter is fantastic. Kennedy Carter. Hey, man, realistically, we wouldn't know who Kennedy Carter was if she didn't elbow, elbow block Caitlin Clark. In that game. We wouldn't have any fucking idea who she was. And you know what? She did exactly what she needed to do to get known. And you know what? I go back and I look at it. I'm like, maybe it was calculated. She, Maybe it was. Because after that, she has shown. Oh, that girl is in. She's, she doesn't have shooting range. And that's the problem, right? And I'm not saying it's a problem from my perspective because I love mid-range basketball. You know that. But why, are that, why did we not know about her? Well, she's crazy for number one. <laughs> <laughs> she's fought, fighting her teammates in previous locations. She's lost her. She's been basically kicked off of two WNBA she's teams. Fire, she's a fireball on and off the court from what we, you know, from what we hear off the court. I mean, she's been fired off of two teams. Um, they got rid of her because she was a problem. She was out of the league last year. Teresa Weatherspoon. Hold on. Hold on. What? So you know she had to be that bad off the court because oh if you watch God. her on the court in the talent she had and then I saw a clip when she played against did you see the clip when she played against the team USA against Sue no. Bird and Tarasi though? Oh no. my god. She dropped like thirty out of their Texas A they played te Texas A and M. She dropped like mm -hmm. thirty out of their sixty points and she's just giving all of them everything they can handle. And Sue Bird and, and, and Tarasi they're doing like a podcast where they're talking about that situation. They like, man, they had me guarded and and she was just the truth. So that's how you know that it was her attitude. Because there's no way with her talent that she should have been out of the league. She had to be so bad. So fucking bad. Like, so good. You had, to be, you had to be so bad for for two teams. It was the Sparks. Who was her first team? I don't she, even know. She got trapped. She was with the Sparks and she was with um Henry Carter. She was drafted by she was drafted for. Uh, she was drafted by the Atlanta Dream. So the Atlanta Dream was the first one. You think the Atlanta Dream could use her right now? Yes. Oh God. 2020, the fourth pick in the draft. This was this was a long ago. She played two years there. She then went to the Sparks for a year. Didn't last there. And then she's been in Bursa, Burks, whatever the hell, in Hell Lijong Dragons. It looked like she was in China or in I don't know where the hell Bursa is. That's Turkey. So she went to Turkey. She's played in, in where the hell is this? She's been in Turkey a lot. Yeah, I was 17 as a rookie. 
Polish. She's been Poland. Yeah, and look, Teresa Weatherspoon ha- has connected with her um, on a, on a high level that has really entrusted Kennedy Carter. Trust her. I, I don't know that Kennedy Carter can play for anyone else. <laughs> she won't ever want to. But holy shit, from that time, she is a firecracker, man. And on the court, she is so damn fast. She is physical. She's strong. She's aggressive. She gets to her spot. You can't do she, anything like about it. like sh- there's not a damn thing you can do about it. And like she had 33 the other day in Seattle. Like she's averaging right now 16-5. She's their leading scorer. And she started off on the bench. And she was on the bench when the season started. 16-5. But see, I want people to understand something real quick. Look at this. So she's averaging 16.5, 2.9 rebounds, 2.7 assists. Caitlin Clark's averaging seven, 16, 7 and a half, and 6. That should give you an idea how good Caitlin Clark is. Now, Kennedy Carter shooting 53% from the field. That is rare for women. It's because she, But she's 20% from three. She can't shoot. She's not a perimeter shooter. She's a mid-range. She gets to the basket. <clears throat> She's had the last five games. Today she had 19, I think it was. Mm-hmm. She had 19. She had 21 against Seattle, 33, 26, 15, 20. Those are her last six games. I, I She's the best player on that team. And people, she's the best, she is the best player on that team. And that's another reason why, to me, it's not even a conversation as to who the rookie of the year is. Because there's no doubt, Caitlin. There's no doubt who the best player on the Indiana Fever is. There's not even a conversation. If you don't think that Kennedy Carter is the best player on the, on the Chicago Sky, it's debatable. It's a conversation to be had. I'm watching her. She's unbelievable. She's the best player on that team. She's their best player. Now, and, and now Reese is the igniter. <clears throat> she's the yeah. She's gonna bring. But Kennedy team. Carter has a is a firecracker too. Like they're both like they 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 mesh off each other well. I, I I tell you right now, I would love to see practices with those women. I I can imagine that they might get into fights. <laughs> like like there's some fire in there. And think about the fact that the season started and she played 14 minutes, 15 minutes, 17 minutes. So she had four points: 12, 12, 11, 12, 15 minutes. Then she played 20. She had 14. Then when she started getting – in her first game versus Indiana, she had 19. Um, then 16, 25. Atlanta, she had a real bad game with four. She only took five shots back to 15 minutes. I guess maybe they sent her back to the bench. I'm not sure. 10. And then it's 16, 18, 19, 23, 20, 15, 26, 33. Like, this girl's a fucking baller. She's a ball player. And we now know who she is. And, and we all see her. And that's all I was saying. We see her. We see you. We, we see you. We see like, you. We see you. And that's what Nick said. Take advantage of the opportunity when you're playing this chick. Because when you're playing her, you have the opportunity to become known. And maybe it took a forearm to the back to get known. But you are known and you are seen. I don't know how she's not an all-star. I don't know how. She came on late. She was a star. They should have put her on that damn team. She's an all-star. Because you know what's also happened is that Nafisa Collar is hurt from the Minnesota Lynx. She's not going to be on the Olympic team. She won't play. She's not. She's hurt. She's out with a plantar fasciitis issue. You know how bad that is in basketball. Mm -hmm. You're out for – she's indefinitely out. I'm waiting to see if they're going to put Caitlin Clark on the Olympic team now. Come on. I don't know. Are they going to? I don't know anymore. I don't know what they're going to do because to me, the decision should have already been made. But how, how, and I'll be real. Angel Reese should be in that fucking team too. And I'm tired of people saying the same bullshit. When you, when Gil's Arena, I watch this shit and they're like, well, who do you pull off? I don't care who you pull off. I do not care who you pull off. You can pull off anybody. Except for Asia. Yeah. You can pull any guard off that roster. Yeah. You can pull any other forward off that roster. I would probably leave her and I'd leave Alyssa Thomas. Yeah. Um, and that, Alyssa Thomas, who cares? Get rid of her too. Uh, there, you can pull off anybody besides Asia Wilson 
and you could put Caitlin Clark and Andrew Reese on that team. I don't want to hear that how they earned it. First of all, Chelsea Gray shouldn't be on the team. She's missed a, a year. She missed a year. She just got back. She shouldn't be on the team to begin with. Your criteria is all over the fucking place. Because your criteria said you need to be at this tryout, and she wasn't there. She was hurt. Brittany Griner was hurt. She missed the first double-digit games this season. Now, mind you, Griner is Griner. She's huge, and she the size and all that stuff. But you could pull anybody off this fucking team and put those two women on this team. Without a doubt in my mind. It's not even a question about why you're not doing... You need a first of all, Kylie needs to be replaced. She's hurt. You're not going to go out with an injured player. It's like Kawhi Leonard just bailed out because he's still messed up. I don't, that didn't make that didn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't even know why he showed up. Um, but yeah, Kennedy Carter's incredible, man. I, I I am so impressed by her game. She is so fucking good. That's when people say when like that's why it would bother me so much when Monica McNutt gets on there and talks about talent levels. You kidding? Talent levels. The Chicago Sky talent? Kennedy Carter would be the second best player on the Indiana Fever right now. And you know how open? She might average 40 on that team. I'm not I'm kidding. She's averaging 16.5 right now. She shoots 53% from the field. Ooh, playing next to Caitlin Clark, she'd be averaging 25. I love some Kennedy Carter. I love her. Again. She'd average 25, and you know who'd also probably be averaging 25, 30? Caitlin Clark. Well, they'll play off each other well. Oh, my God. They would play off each other so well. My God. It would, it would be, it would be, Jesus. But, but she couldn't play for Christy Sides. <laughs> She'd probably beat the shit at Christy Sides in practice. <laughs> well, she'd probably, she'd probably well. choke the hell out of Christy Sides. I, I, she was 15 for 24 against Seattle. 62.5%. She took no three points. All two point shots. All two point shots. Three for five from the line. It was a girl who was sitting in the paint and she still made her way to the paint and finished on her. She's so she's good. On man. the same side of the basket. She didn't even have three points. Yeah. She's so good. And and you know, that's why I said, like, folks, bro, we, we will talk about this because this is actually we, Caitlin Clark's made us watch this shit. So now we're seeing some other players. I'm not I have not been impressed by really anybody else except for Kennedy Clark. Real shit.